Is it possible to pass the RSGB Foundation exam without any study at all? Let's find out. Welcome to the Ham Radio Junkie with me, Keith. Not only am I a licensed radio ham, but I'm also an academic researcher, which means I spend most of my time researching stuff to find out more about it. I thought it'd be quite interesting to sit down and try and do some research on how easy it is to pass the RSGB or Radio Society of Great Britain's foundation exam that gives you access to amateur radio in the UK. Now, to get a licence, you normally have to do some study. And the best way to do that is by using the Foundation Licence Manual. You can also go online, there are lots of resources there, or visit a radio club, they'll give you loads of advice, and there'll be people that will help you study as well. Now, it saddens me to say there are people that think the Foundation Licence is far too easy. They think that you might as well give the licence away. And if you can't pass it, you're some sort of idiot. The fact that an eight-year-old can pass it, they believe, means that it's so simple, anybody can pass it. And you even get people telling you that their mate passed it without doing any study at all. So to pass the foundation licence exam, you need to get 19 out of the 26 multiple choice questions correct. So is it possible to pass just by picking the same letters? I took two papers and I looked at the number of times each letter appeared as a correct answer. If you chose on either paper just to select the letter A, B, C or D, you would have failed. So choosing to select one letter is not a good option. So if that's not a good option, is it any better just to select one letter at random for each question? In other words, let's just have a guess. Are my chances increased by just doing that? Well, sadly not. The chances of guessing 19 out of the 26 right is quite difficult, and it relies on a thing called binomial distribution. This calculation takes into account that you have a 25% chance of getting the correct answer, but also a 75% chance of getting the answer wrong. It then also works out that you need to have 19 right. So ultimately, you will have a 0.03% chance of passing just by guessing each question right. So it's fair to say that the odds are firmly stacked against you if you do no study at all. Now, the calculation and the maths say that it's not possible to pass just by guesswork. So really we need to test this. And the way we're going to test it is we're going to carry out a very simple social experiment. And to do our social experiment, I'm going to find some volunteers that want to take the exam without any prior knowledge or prior study. So let's get into it and see who we've got. So first willing volunteer, my dad. He's not got any radio experience at all, apart from the fact that he was the lighting engineer for the Beatles, some band apparently of the 60s. He's also a carpenter by trade, so to be honest, he's okay if you want a cabinet, he's not much good if you want an aerial. We'll leave him to it while I'll introduce the next candidate. And here they are. Nine-year-old Theo, my nephew. He really loves dinosaurs, swimming, playing football, and also aeroplanes. His technique, just go down a paper really, really quick. We'll leave you to it, Theo. You should be done shortly. And the next candidate, my younger sister. She's in her 40s. Her radio experience is quite limited, but she does use them in her day job as she's a firefighter. That's right, she runs into burning buildings for a living. Crazy. Anyway, let's leave her to do the paper. She is actually reading the questions, which is a good start. And now my mum. Her radio experience is, well, she put up with me being at home at the age of 14 with a dirty grey aerial on the outside the house and calling CQ at the early hours of the morning. So, apart from that, 
not a great deal. But she makes a wicked carrot cake. So we'll leave her to carry on as well. And our last candidate is my 11 year old niece Erin. She likes unicorns and a Nintendo Switch. She knows how to turn the radio on and off. But apart from that, mm, I'm not so sure. So let's see how she gets on with her test. So the results are in and this is how they got on. My nephew got 6 out of 26. Niece got 7. My dad got 8. My mum got 12. And my sister got 13. But guess what? Everybody failed. So what have we learnt from this? Well, we've learnt that the foundation exam is the way into amateur radio. And it's a great hobby. We've also learnt that really and truthfully, if you want the best chance of success, you do need to study. Purchasing the foundation training manual is a great start. But you can also go on the internet. One site that's really useful is hamtrain.co.uk. Got some great information on there all about the foundation licence. Check out Callum M0MCX and his DX Commander YouTube channel. He's got some great information as well, lots of interactive videos. I hope this has given you some help on how best to pass your foundation licence and get on the air. I'd really like to work here. So come on, what's stopping you? My name's Keith, my call sign is G0FEA and I'm the Ham Radio Junkie. I'll catch you next time. Bye.